Now, anytime you open command prompt, this is the default location where you're always going to be. So inside of the C drive and then users and then user in this case heading. So let's open our file explorer and find that location here. First, we go to C drive and then to users and then to user folder in this case it's adding so here we can see that we have some files and folders that we can open so right now what i want to do is to use the command prompt to go to desktop so let's go to desktop now here inside of file explorer all we need to do is to click two times on desktop and here we are now inside of the command prompt we have to use commands so the first command that we're going to use is called cd or change directory and the way it works is that we write cd and then the name of directory where we want to go so desktop press enter and here we are in the desktop now now if we want to go one step backwards inside of the file explorer usually we would click on this icon arrow to go backwards or maybe here but let's click on the icon and now we are back to our user folder now inside of the command prompt the way that we do that is by writing cd dot dot and this means go one step backwards so press enter and now again we are inside of our user folder now often you will want to go multiple steps forward so let's see how we can do that again let's write cd space and this time I'm just going to write D and press tab for autocomplete. And then I'm going to write slash. And then on the desktop, we can see that we have this folder called learn. So let's go to that folder. So learn and then press enter. So now we took two steps forward. And of course we can go as far as we like. Now let's see how we can make multiple steps backwards. Again, we use CD and then two dots and then slash and then again two dots. Now, this means go two steps backwards. Now, if we want to go three steps backwards, again, we will write slash dot dot. But this time, I just want to go two steps backwards. So press enter. And again, here we are inside of our uh, user folder. Now, sometimes you will want to go uh, to your D drive. So let's see how we can easily go to our D drive. Press D and then colon and enter. And now we are inside of the D drive. If we want to go back to C drive, again, press C, colon, enter. And here you can see that command prompt has already remember where we were uh, before we went to D. Now let's try to target some other destination. For example, if I go here to C, let's say i want to open this folder here mongodb how could i do that well by using these commands that we learned so far we will have to use cd and then something like this to go backwards to c and then again press cd mongodb so we are writing two times cd of course there is a better way to do it so let's see how we can do that write cd and then c colon slash or backslash in this case i'm going to use backslash and then we can simply navigate mongodb or wherever we want now let's go back to editing again so again cd c colon backslash users and then again backslash editing. now you probably will be able to do this with slash too so press enter and here we are back inside of our editing folder now, before we finish this video, I just want to show you one more command and that's how we can clear screen. So we can see already that we have written a lot of commands here and maybe now I want to just clear the screen. So we can do that by writing CLS, which is short for clean screens. Press enter and now we can see everything is clean again. All right, so you can see here how really easy it is to navigate by using command prompt. All right, let's see what we learn here. In this video, we have learned how to use CD to navigate. So first, we learned how we can use CD to go one step forward and then one step backwards. Also, we have learned how to 
take multiple steps forward and again multiple steps backwards also we have learned how to go to d drive and back to c and how we can go to certain folders no matter where we are and of course we have learned important command cls to clear screen